all-around final. So far, then, in this hoop final, the trend is for lower scores compared to the preliminary rounds. From Israel, 10th in the all-around competition, Adi Azia Katz, twice a European Championship bronze medalist last year. Don't ever be surprised when Adi Katz is a contender. Now, what will be interesting is to look at the end of that routine and how close that hoop was to actually being over the line. The line is in. However, if she is out of bounds with the hoop, she will lose three tenths of a point in execution deductions. The routine at large was so crisply performed. There was a kind of aggressive elegance to it. She is so quick and she is razor sharp, especially in her balances. Look at that beautiful front scale and she holds it for such a long time. The requirement for gymnasts is to hold those balances for one second. She looks like she could stay up there for a minute if that's what was required. And really beautiful flexibility on the planche pivots as well. I think that's a wonderful term, but aggressive elegance. I think it absolutely describes the work of Adi Katz. And there's a lot of really deceptive difficulty. For example, that turning split leap where her head went back and the hoop passed through her body. That's one of the most difficult things that she does in this exercise. As a single element. And it just blends in to everything that she's doing. The dance, once again, a balance with trunk at horizontal, the head back, it's so hard to hold that. And she's utterly mastered it. She is, after all, last year's World Challenge Cup champion with the hoop, which demonstrates real consistency over the whole season. Really does accentuate the control she has in those attitude derriere spins. And three forward rolls under the flight of the hoop. Just say though, once again, at the 